as you use the car, you're going, wow, they put so they thought much through. thought into this. Yeah. So yeah, you walk up to the car, you don't, you don't um, use a key. You just have your phone in your pocket with the Tesla app on. Right. And you hit the door and it opens. The lock you, door opens. There we go. Don't and, have to do anything. And you hop in the car, put on your seat belt, go down once on the stock and drive. And that's it. All right. And, and there's and, no and, sound. And then when you well, except that's road th- sound. That that's the thing. It, it, um, you your tires will make sound on the. Pavement, that's what you hear. And that's, that's all about you, all. That's you all hear. you hear. Right. And then right. and then when you get out, you park the car, you pull over, you hit the end of the button to hit it and park, mm-hmm. and you get out and you walk away. If if Mark's driving, you hear one more thing. You hear the tires at first, and then you hear the whoosh of the wind as he accelerates to whatever <laughs> exorbitant <laughs> speed he desires and uh, i hope no uh, law enforcement is listening and Listen, targeting law enforcement that, you know. should just give him a pass until, Man, until we and i get tell you it's an these, amazing uh, piece of machinery well it well, is and, and you have a power curve on I, I don't know how many of our people know what a power curve is but you know on a regular gasoline car you got a little bit of horsepower down here and a lot of horsepower when the engine's up at four or five thousand rpm right Right, right. And you got a lot of torque down here, but your torque goes down as you go up. Tesla's power curve is flat. Flat right. power curve. It doesn't matter when you hit the gas, then it's not gas. Yeah, I think. But, right, right. Yeah, no, that's another thought right there. Yeah, a lot of folks that's like. a skewomorph. Hitting the gas is going to become a skewomorph. Yeah, Nissans have tried to approximate that kind of thing earlier by having that smooth variable transmission right, that right. shifts through like a zillion gears so that you're but always in the optimal speed range of the motor there's right? no comparison right. between the two technologies this is uh it's like being on a rocket i mean i can't think it the only other thing i can think of is and i've never experienced it but if you're in a fuel dragster or something where you just spin the right. tires until they grab and go it's that fast that's acceleration it. and then there's a sport model right right that's this faster. is not the fastest one this oh, is yeah, the slow right. one so, right. so, so my wife's z4 was Zero to sixty in about four point five seconds. Okay. This car is zero to sixty in four point three, so it's faster than that Nissan. I mean that uh, BMW Z4. The the performance model of the Model Three is zero to sixty in three point two seconds. There is no other car on the road. It takes on the Porsche. It takes on everything. Well, mine will take on a Porsche. (laughs) Mine accelerates faster than my buddy's Porsche. And the performance one blows that away. It's See, I'd need, uh, like yeah. NASCAR drivers, a whole Han harness if I was going to drive that. It's just the the, the acceleration, you actually feel the Gs. Well, now, I mean, does that know. have two motors? Mine There's has one that two has motors. two motors. Mine has right? two motors, and that's how you okay. get the long-range version. Okay, so that that is the way that, that uh, you get the – what is the mileage now? How far can the you long go range, on the charge? The right. long-range version is uh, they claim 315 miles. Uh, they're like anything. There's a lot of variables that go into that. Sure. If you drive sure. fast, I'm not saying I drive 80. No. But if you drive 80 – Right. Um, you know a guy you get, that knows you, a guy. I know a guy that knows a guy, right? <laughs> you get about 250 miles out of the range. Okay. But yeah, see, that's the thing. I wouldn't want to be the – I wouldn't want to have to test it. Okay, I'm going – okay, now I'm out of power. I'm oh, sure you got oh, all kind of indicators got, for that kind it's of thing, got, too, right? You just hit a button on the screen, and you got your energy graph. It tells you how many miles you have left. You can say, how many miles do I have left based on how I've been driving the last 30 miles, the last 50 15 miles, the last five miles, and it shows you the graph of how much you're using. How yeah, many, that's an interesting. What, thing. Hour, what hours you're using per mile as you go. When so, you really, that's gas, a long way, can, though, <laughs> because it's here to Savannah easily. Yeah. You could easily make Savannah oh, yeah, on right. one charge. Yeah. And yeah, then well, you for, could find a charging station in the city like Savannah, right? If you are going on a trip, you tell Tesla, you tell your screen where mm-hmm. you're going. Mm-hmm. And it routes your trip yes. to now, the charging stations so you never run out of gas. You know where the charging stations are. Uh, yeah, I, s- I actually saw that. And that was one of my questions when I, I, I was sort of at the mall talking to the Tesla dealer mm-hmm. and sitting in one and kind of uh, asking these questions. I said, I want to go on a, uh, I want to go to California from Georgia, a nationwide and trip. And it, yeah, he popped it in, and it had all of the stations there that you would stop and get charged on. That was pretty amazing. And the supercharged idea. stations will put 
150 miles on the car in 15 minutes. Okay. So it's so it's it's getting akin to going to a gas station. So the way you you charge it now is at home for the most part, right? So you, you have wake a up every morning with a full tank of gas. Okay. Another skewer. Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> we got to change our vocabulary and uh, the way we our phrases on some of this stuff. Oh, and the beautiful thing. Now, my electric supplier is Cobby MC, and I'm on a rate. They have a nighttime rate where you get some free some free charging. Okay. But that rate is, I don't like that rate. So I'm on just a regular $0.08 cents per kilowatt hour variable rate. I pay a little fixed charge and then $0.08 cents a kilowatt hour. Okay. Calculate at eight cents a kilowatt hour, about two hundred and fifty watt hours a mile. Okay, gives you two and a half cents a mile. Okay, okay. So my three hundred miles, wow, is seven dollars and fifty cents. You yes. know. You know, just, just noticing two days ago, gas went up down here. Is that like at this point in time it was two eleven? Now it's two twenty seven. And who knows? We have no control. Over it.